Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will try this vintage darkroom tools that I got off eBay. And this is the adjustable vignette. Right, and this is how it looks like. It's sort of like a masking tool where you can use it to create the vignettes on your photos. So in this video, I'm going to try two things. First of all, I try to use this um, vignette inside my Afani Scanbox camera so that I can create a photo negative that already has the vignetting effect. Secondly, I will create another photo negative that has no vignetting effect. But I will try to use these tools during the contact printing process to create the vignetting effect when doing contact printing. So to come along with me and uh, to see how I will set up these tools inside my box camera and how I will use it during the contact printing process. So let's go. Alright, so um, I just received this package. It's something that I ordered from eBay. Uh, it's a uh, vintage dark room tools. Huh? So let's open up and see what it So this is a uh, adjustable vignette. Supposed to be for all and larger and okay and uh, there's instruction and close. I hope it's still there. Made by test right instrument. But let's take a look at what does it say here. Right, it says that it allows numerous shapes and style to fit or enlarger needs. The leaves may be reversed so that the edges are either smooth or notched depending on the result required. Image can be seen on the easel during the entire enlarging period. Right, full instruction and close. Okay. Alright, okay, so this is what's inside the envelope and instruction and the vignette itself. So let's take a look at the instruction. This simple process enables you to give an ordinary picture that professional look. Eh? Okay, sounds great. It's best to use picture with light background and it's very effective if the subject is dressed in a white shirt or blouse with perhaps a black tie black ribbon or tie right mm, okay adjust the red filter of your vignette to approximately the shape of the image you want or only much smaller right this shape should give you the image on the easel when held halfway between the lens and the easel right so this is a printing uh, vignette you will use it when you are doing your printing in the dark room under the enlarger but um, i guess it's also possible to use it um, in camera or when shooting right Let's take a closer look at the vignette right so this is made of a uh, black cardboard with a oval shaped cut on the cardboard itself and there are multiple what we call the leaves that are revert to the cardboard itself and you can see that the leaves are actually made of red filter so that if you are printing with a uh, photo paper the light is not going to pass through it because we know the photo paper is not sensitive to red light. Eh? So this blocks the light and when you put it over the photo paper, uh, the part that is blocked by this red filter will be white right? when you develop the paper. So that's how we got the effect that you see here. So which leaf is uh, pivoting along its uh, own revert, right? So you can adjust the shape to something that you want. So let's say we want something like a circular shape. I guess we can shape it to something more circular, right? And then we can do the enlarging here, right? So I guess the best is to put this through a real test. I will do two things. One of you have to shoot this with uh, my Afaniscan box camera, put it inside the box camera and uh, take only this. And it will take only the image in this area and of course the other option is to do a contact printing and I will use this light to block light so that I will get something like this effect right. so let's try it for some reason if you prefer the 
smooth edge, right? This is what you do, just reverse it. Right? And of course, you can adjust it to shape again. So what I'm going to do uh, is to try to use this vignette inside the Afghanistan box camera. Right, so um, I need to find a way to position this inside the box camera. So what I've done is to 3D print some of these um, bracket and holders. Right, so this is the bottom two piece. It's very simple. Just a T-shaped bracket with a slot here. A Velcro strip below. Uh, this will be stick on to the bottom of the box camera. So I have two of them. Right, and here, the other two are just simply hook. This will hook onto the two reels of the Afghanistan box camera. And then again, there's some slot to hold on the card. Right. I have uh, stick the two bracket onto the base of the box camera to the use of a Velcro strip. So just stick it on. Right, somewhere here, and this is the other one. And then what we'll do is that we will slot the card, the vignette, onto the two bracket, and on top we have the this hook to hook onto the bar. Same for the other side. Now you can see that this uh, vignette won't move around too much. This is my Afghanistan box camera, the very first one that I've built. So in, inside here we see two trays, one for the developer and the other one for the fixer. So the developer is a Uford multi-grade paper developer 1 plus 9. And on the right hand side we have the Uford fixer, also 1 plus 9. So inside here I also have loaded some uh, Uford RC 5x7 paper. So we are ready to do our shoot. So this is the Fujinon 210mm lens. I reset it to aperture f5.6, the biggest aperture. Um, I set it to bug mode. So I just need to cock the shutter. Okay, and then take the photo. 1000. Okay, somewhere there. And then we can now develop our photo paper. So, 2,000 years later. I put the paper through a minute of developing in the Uford multi-grade paper developer and then one minute of fixing. In. Okay, so let's take a look on the result. The moment of true. Okay, looks pretty okay. We can see the V-netting, the part that was blocked by the V-netter. That means the red blades and the cardboard, right? When we contact print it, it will become black. Five minutes later. Okay, so this is the one that I took without the vignette. Okay, let's take a look. Looks good. So what I intend to do with this is to do a contact print. I will use the vignette during the contact printing process to create the vignetting. So this shot is just to allow us to make the comparison whether on doing the vignetting uh, during the shooting or during the printing. So we are back into our makeshift dark room. So I have here are the two pieces of our negative. They are dry now. So the one on the left is the one taken with the vignette, but the one on the right is not. So I also bought in the two trays from the box camera, the developer on the left and the fixer on the right. So we are all ready to do our contact printing now. For contact printing, we are going to make use of this um, IKEA um, standing lamp. Eh? So it's just a bare bulb. We will do bare bulb contact printing. Okay, so for contact printing, I'm going to use this uh, Forma RC paper, their Forma Speed. This is the velvet uh, finish eh? so it's not that glossy so this is the test strip the emulsion is facing here right so i'm going to um do the contact printing for the one that I shot with the vignette 
right so the test strip right is about this long so we have about this space to do the test strip right so i will put it in between the two pieces of glass to weigh it down and then i will let's go 1000 2000 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, and the last one, 1,000, 2,000, okay, so after that we can put it into the developer for a minute, so for the first one, the paper seems to be a bit fog, it could be from my digital camera where I'm doing the videoing, the LCD light, so I change to another strip, so this one looks much better. Alright, so the very top part is 8 seconds. Obviously, that's going to be quite black uh, because of the V-netting effect. Eh? And here is like 6 seconds, and then 4, then 2, right? So I think even at 6 seconds, this um, the hair is not very black. So I'm just going to go for 8 seconds and see how it goes. Let's go for 8 seconds exposure. Let's go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Right? So come up next, we'll try to use the vignette uh, for our contact printing. So I will use this negative that is, that is shot without the vignette. So to print using the vignette, we just need to hold the vignette a certain distance from the photo paper. I'm putting the vignette like um, 4 or 5 cm above the photo paper. Hopefully, this opening in the center will be the only part where the lights will hit the photo paper. So when you on the light, so you have to move it around in the circular motion so that the edges will be smoothed out. By doing so, so this, this is the only part where the photo paper will be exposed. Where the rest, including where this red leaf are, the photo paper is not sensitive to the red light. This red leaf part act like a safe light filter. So those areas on the photo paper will not be exposed to light. The prints are dry now, so let's take a closer look. This is the first photo paper negative that I shot, the one that I, where I used the vignette inside the box camera. So once contact printed, this is the result. I kind of like the shape that I created. It's a little bit irregular um, and of course you can adjust it to any shape you want. We are seeing the lights fall off at the edges. Huh? This is created from the notches on the uh, red blades. So those are tooth like uh, shapes kind of help to diffuse out the light and making it fall off. Next is the one where we create the vignetting on contact printing. So you can see that the surrounding the face are all white. That's because the lights are blocked off from this area. So no light hit so they were develop white. If you remember the instructions say that uh, the model should wear a white brows and all that and now we can see why because the white brows or white shirt were or white background will blend nicely into the vignetting. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. I certainly have fun trying out these tools which I got for $5 off eBay. I try it inside the camera and during contact printing. I'm sure there are other ways to make use of these tools. Uh, for example, putting it in front of the lens. I'm thinking that some of you all may have other ways of uh, creating a vignette effect. So if you have, do share it with me in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. So if you enjoyed this video, I certainly appreciate that you will subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And also do remember to turn on the notification icon, which is the bell icon, uh, so that you'll be informed of my next videos.
So do take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye!